Okay, I know it's been a little while since I've put up a video. I've been quite busy with work lately. I'm trying to work as much as possible. In other news, I am recording this did the day that the new Crash trailer dropped, and oh my gosh, I am so excited for that new Crash game. I, have to train the hummingbirds. They must I will definitely record that game once it's out. Sorceries. It looks so fun, oh my gosh. Like, I'm like actually super hyped about it. Sir, the situation is this. I'll we definitely have it on pre-order. Anyways, let's, let's get back on topic. So, Sergeant Bird's face. There is a skill point, which I'll show you, of course, um, but of course you have to do, um, oh, what do you want to call them? The extra character's homeworld, or home level? Before you get to use them in other levels, so... I'm doing this first, so that way we can go back to Molten Crater and get all the rest of the gems and eggs in that one. There's also the second skill point in there. I have to be careful. I always somehow manage, manage to miss a gem here, as usual. I mean, when am I not missing a gem, right? Thank you, sir. Where did that one go? There we go. Yeah, you can use the try or the action button, I guess, depending on what version you're playing, to uh, aim. Which is really cool. Nice. The rockets, they kind of, sort of home in on targets, but they're not 100% reliable. Much far on empty stomachs. Right, there's our first. Uh, Sacred's kind of a cool name. Sir, the Rhinox have blocked the way out of this next cave with a security door, and I don't think you'll be able to blast your way through this one. I recommend you land on the weights and carry them to the pressure sensitive security switches on either side of the door. When in position, press the charge button to drop the weight. Press the action button once to look down, and press it again to look up, sir. Okay. It's weird that they wait until now to teach you the controls for this character, but whatever. Okay, those moles, uh, we'll keep those ones in mind. Those are actually the skill point, but I'm going to leave them to show you a different way to take care of them. Because when you get too close to them, they go into their little hole, and you can't get them. So I'll show you how to get them once we've reached the end of the level. Okay, we're gonna take this. And up here. Take another one. You really don't have to push anything, you can just land on it and then land here and it does it automatically. These guys are fun. Oh, not the ladybugs. These are uh, Rhinox, I mean. Gems. I think last time I played through this, I missed a gem in here, so let me make sure I get them all. Yep. I think that's the one I missed. Make sure we get it this time. Alright. Almost to the end. Mm. 
Stop shooting toilet plungers at me. That's weird and gross. Mission accomplished. Hmm. It's great to have your back, sir. Ryan Lee. I have never heard that name before, honestly. Like, Ryan Lee has one name. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's make sure we get all the gems. And there's one more egg. Make sure we get our skill point too. Well, I tried to hover, but okay. Okay, there's a lot of gems in this area, so I'm gonna make sure to get them all. There's another hummingbird. Anytime those gophers come in and out of their holes, it sounds like Crash spending away an enemy or something. I might do a uh, playthrough of the Crash Insane Trilogy at some point. It's just a very difficult game to 100%. Unlike Spyro. So if I do, it probably won't be for a little while. And it'll probably take a while to get all the videos out just because of how difficult it is. For me at least. Let me make sure I got the gems up here first. Alright, I'll show you what those rockets are for. Just a sec here. So you want to take these rockets. You saw there's a lot of strong chests and then I mentioned the scopers. So for the strong chest, if you push triangle, you can aim and then push square and you drop them. That's a little thing you can do. And not only is that how we're gonna get rid of the strong chest, that's also how we're gonna get these guys. Okay. Of course, if you wanted to, you could use it on these enemies too. Which I will, just for the fun of it. There's another gopher. Gems are everywhere. Alright, come over this way, there's a little hidden tunnel. I guess it's not that hidden. Just be careful with these flame blower things. Ooh, I almost got hit by that. Okay, one more. Continuing on. Let's grab some more rockets. Alrighty. Okay. Got him. Get the strong chest. Admittedly, the camera when playing as this character is not my favorite thing. I think there's another one over here. Okay. There's one in here. We'll grab more in just a sec.
Oh. Let's still get more. Oh look, I did miss another gem. Naturally. At least we caught it this time. Hey, there'll be one more gopher. Right, and there's your skill points. Alright. We break open the strong chest, we also open a little entrance way. That's the hidden tunnel for sure. We drop down here. More gems. <laughs> right, and then there's the last one. That's how I'm good. I mean, I recovered this egg from the enemy, sir. So that's all the eggs. I'm hoping this is the last few gems. But knowing me, it's probably not. Hey, of course. Alright, uh, let's go see if we can find them. Alright, Spice, where are they? Okay. So they're towards the end of them. Where, buddy? Oh. Wow, it was yellow, and with that sunlight, I, I I, didn't even see it as I picked it up. Wow. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm gonna keep the recording going because I think there's a cutscene that plays in the home run after this. But anyway, now that we've done that, we can go back to Molten Crater. Additionally, since we're going back to the Sunrise Spring, um, there is a little Sparks level that you can do. The Sparks levels you unlock by beating the boss of that home world. So after you beat the boss, you can come back to that home world and then do the Hidden Sparks level. Alright, so let's see if that cutscene plays. I think it does, but I'm not sure. Nope, okay. Well anyways, that'll be it for this video. Um, I'm going to go back to the Molten Creator, finish the Sergeant Bird one, and then we'll also do the Sparks level. So I'll see you guys then.